Hello and welcome to the Cricket Digest channel. You must have heard about the ICC team ratings for quite a long time. But do you know how exactly it is calculated? In this video, let's understand how exactly ICC calculates the team ratings. Here you go. Each team earns certain points based on the results of their matches. The time period used for this calculation is 3 to 4 years. This period is considered from May every year. For example, in May 2019, the matches played after May 2016 will be considered for the calculation. In May 2020, matches from May 2016 to May 2017 will be dropped from the calculation. This drop happens overnight in May every year and a team's ranking might suddenly change though they have not played any matches recently. All the matches in the mentioned period will not be given the same weightage. For example, in October 2019, matches from May 2016 to May 2018 will be given 50% weightage. And from May 2018 to October 2019, all the matches will get 100% weightage. This calculation remains valid till May 2020. In May 2020, matches from May 2016 to May 2017 will be dropped and the matches from May 2017 to May 2019 will be switched to 50% weightage. And this calculation will be valid till May 2021 and so on. Well, this was about points. The final rating, which is used to rank the teams, is obtained by calculating the average points a team has earned over the specified period. For example, if a team plays 30 matches and accumulates a total of 3600 points, then the rating of that team would be 120. When two teams play a match, the number of points they earn from that match depends on their rating immediately before the match. One day and T20 matches follow the same points earning method, but the test match is slightly different. Let's start with test matches first. In test matches, ratings are updated after the completion of a series. At the start of a series, if the difference between the two teams rating is less than 40, then each team will earn the points using the given formula. Now let's understand how a team gets series points. A team gets 1 point for winning a match. 0.5 for a draw or a tie. 1 bonus point for winning the series. 0.5 bonus point if the series is drawn. Let's consider an example. At the start of the series, India has a rating of 120 and South Africa has 90. Let's assume that India wins the series by 2-1. India gets 2 points for winning 2 matches, 1 bonus point for winning the series, whereas South Africa gets 1 point for winning 1 match. Now, total points calculation would be India gets 460 points from this series. They had 3600 points before, now their total grows to 4060 points. India had played 30 matches before this series and they have played 3 matches in this series. One more will be added to this total as a completed series is considered as a match itself and this series can be of any number of matches. This gives us the rating of 190. Going by the same method, South Africa's new rating would be 91. At the start of a series, if the difference between the two teams rating is at least 40, then a different formula will be used. Let's take a look at that. A little different calculation is used for one day and T20 matches where series concept is not used. Ratings will be updated after every match. Every calculation is based on the current rating of a team. How do you think ICC started this calculation initially? Do let us know in the comment section. Until next video, goodbye.